up to what else? Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the EDC Podcast, y'all. What's going on, y'all? This week has been moving a little slow to me, honestly, because we got, uh, of course, it's, it's, uh, it's Labor Day. It's a holiday weekend, so, you know what I'm saying? We all trying to get to that. We all trying to get to that Saturday with a cookout vibe, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever, whatever y'all doing. I know I got two cookouts. This holiday weekend, uh, uh, whole squad gonna be showing up, so we, we, we about to be moving, you mean? We was thinking about the beach, um, that's kind of falling on the wayside, honestly. Nobody said nothing in a while, unless, uh, we all just, unless we all just operating on, uh, everybody already knew type vibes. Nobody ain't seen that for in a while, so I'm just planning to play cards and eat good for like a solid, solid two days. And I got an extra couple of days off, cause not extra couple of days off, extra day off, cause I'm I'm naturally off on Tuesday. So, you know what I'm saying? After I work Saturday a few hours, then we off. Then we got Sunday pop, man. Um, Sunday I'm not really off. I still got to play at church, but then we going to we going to Duke's crib for another cookout Sunday. And then Monday it's supposed to be the beach. If not, I mean me and my friends we can do whatever, but supposed to be the beach at this moment. Um, then Tuesday I'm off. You know what I'm saying? Then you're right back to the grind on Wednesday, on Wednesday. So, I mean, this weekend should be, it should be a vibe, yeah. Hopefully, we do something. If we do do something like going out, um, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Sorry, people. <clears throat> Need that little sweat. If we do do something like going out, something like that, then, uh, I definitely might vlog, man. I gotta start vlogging more. I realize that, man. I be, I be, t- I be slacking sometimes when they come to the vlog game, cause like, um, I don't know, man. I really just like, I, I gotta get the urge to do it. Not even the urge to do it. Like, I gotta be doing something that makes me think it's worthy of vlogging. But I gotta get out of that mindset because a lot of things that's not worthy to vlog in a sense. It's worthy to vlog. Like, a lot of things that you really don't care about, like, like, me and Satisa, I mean, who's Satisa? Me and Satara <laughs> had a uh, had a date night where we were just making pizza and watching movies and uh, whatnot, and that, uh, that was just a chilling night was. That was just, like, it was what it was. One wasn't nothing crazy, not too much stuff. But, you know, I, I, I love actually making that video. That was one of my dubious vlogs, in my opinion, so... You know what I'm saying? Things like that. I should I should kinda wanna take more uh more part in vlogging and just making sense of it. Like even like um not making not making sense of it is what I meant. Just cause like uh I, I think I'd be aiming too much for you know, making sense oh, this makes sense to vlog right now. When it really don't have to. You know I mean it really could just be a vid. Some people really just wanna see a day in the life of this person. A day in the life of whoever. You know what I'm saying? Not even this person. Or anything like that. A day in the life of whoever, you know. It, it, it doesn't really matter at that point. Some people really just like to watch. You know, I know I'm one of those people. Especially if I'm a fan. Like, dude. I can watch people play. I, 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 I've watched people play poker. I watch poker highlights. Because I love playing cards and things of that nature. So, poker highlights do me in. Poker highlights do me in big time. Dang, my head feel like it's. I don't know if y'all ever feel that way, but y'all feel like your head just, like, it's just always going to be nutty. I be feeling that way sometimes, like, this hat, shout out, shout out to uh, 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 John F. Byrne. This is the hat I got when me and dad played the golf tournament uh, last week, so, shout out to them. I'm still recovering from some sunburn on that, John, by the way, guys, like, uh, I, I'm really trash. I found out in my later years, I'm trash in the sun. I'm trash. My, my not my later year. My my mid years. I'm in right now. I'm big garb in the sun. Big garb. And I'm and I've been thinking about it. Like yo, dang, have I always been this way? Like in my childhood and all that. I wasn't the outside kid, so I really don't really know like that. Like I but I like I, I used to be outside with you know what I mean younger with my cousins and all them. But like I wasn't the outside kid. Like I can find my own. Like you take me to a kid's birthday party when I was a young boy. I can find my own happiness and going somewhere. You know what I'm saying? My cousins and all of them, they want to play Moss or something like that. I'll be like, well, all right, let's play some Moss. But I wasn't really like, oh, y'all, y'all trying to play Moss? It was like, it wasn't that big a deal to me. You know what I mean, my brother is an outside kid. 
my little brother is he he was he used to get darker than me. My my little brother nowhere near as dark as me. Come summertime, he used to be darker than me. That's how much he used to be outside. You know what I'm saying? Like just that just that just that difference between us. But I I was never the outside kid. So I, I could have been this way. I could have been this way my entire life. And not knowing until until now where like I just I just you know what I mean I'm just doing certain things, you know what I mean? Like picking up golf later in life. Now I'm out in the field more. Now I'm out on that course. Now I'm out at the range, just swinging clubs for no reason. You know what I'm saying? Um, it could just be a thing I'm figuring out just because I'm doing those things now. Just because I'm doing those things. Like, I, as a kid, I only can go to the beach with my fam. I, well, well, let me let me take some let me take some of the credit. Let me take some of the fault. I don't think I apply sunblock as much as I should. Let me be real with you on that one. I think I apply what I think I should, like a little coat, a little, a little lotion coat, and then that for me, I'm cool for the day. Clearly not because of my situations. Clearly not. I'm clearly I'm not cool for the day. But that's just my mindset when I'm applying that. I'm quick coat of lotion type vibes on the sunblock joint. Or if you got the spray joint, I spray me up. Then I'm cooked. I'm good for the day. You know what I'm saying? Let eight hours go by. Eight hours cooking. Cooking. Oven roasting in the sun. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you know I mean? That's, my mindset is trash on some blocks. So, maybe I just got to cue that up. But I'm I'm thinking maybe I'm just trash, man. <laughs> maybe I'm just trash in the sun. I don't think there's nothing wrong with that. I don't think there's nothing wrong with being trash in the sun. Ain't nothing. Ain't nothing. Ain't nothing wrong with that at all. Hold on, let me see. Uh, but uh, other than that, yeah, everything was going pretty solid, honestly. I heard um, this one Olympic dude. I'm gonna speak. I'm gonna speak on this just cause like it's it's, it's kind of threw me for a loop. This dude, uh, what was his name? Noah Lyles. I don't wanna get it wrong. Was it Noah Lyles? Yeah, uh, this dude Noah Lyles basically came at the NBA. I think they asked him, um, I think if, uh, I, I could be totally wrong because I really didn't look into, like, uh, uh, um, the interview that much. You know what I mean, I, I believe they just asked him, like, on the importance of a world, a world, um, a, a gold medal for him. You know what I'm saying? Just the importance of, like, the championship, whatever, whatever the case is, just the importance of it, right? And he took, he went out of his way. To kind of like, uh, if you didn't see him, explain. He went out of his way to kind of like uh, um, play down, for lack of a better word, to kind of like play down um, the NBA, the NBA's championship because of the wording, in a sense. So it, it honestly, honestly, it became it became sort of a semantic type argument, but. Um, it honestly became more of a semantic type of argument, but my whole beef and, and like I, I do got a beef with it. But I'm explaining, it, but like from the rip, everybody like NBA players got like offended by it, which I believe they they have all right to do. They got offended by it, by the comments because his comments was like, "Yo, they got world champion on their title, but they ain't they ain't competing against the world." Like it's like that's all U.S. right there. That's the U.S. That's the U.S. Uh, league at the moment, and it's like people want to say. I saw people backpedaling on the comments when he first was offended by it, and then they like, "Well, let's backpedal because you know I'm saying he's at, he's he's technically right in violence. I'm gonna stand here. As, I I honestly, my my opinion on it is like, bro, if it's a semantics type argument, why even bring it up? Like that that's that's my thought on it because I'm like, yo, we, we all know we all know or no one can argue, let me say. No one can argue that the NBA is the greatest basketball that's played in the world. In the world. It's the greatest basketball that's played in the world. So by default, their championship in the NBA is straight up world championship. Now if you want to get technical about it. You could say the NBA is not full of American players. It's full of the greatest players in the world. In the world. It's the greatest players in the world. 
So by the fault of them being the greatest league of them being the greatest showing of basketball in the world, greatest league of basketball in the world, the greatest players of basketball in the world. By default, the championship is I, I argument argument argumentally well argumentally is the world champion of basketball from the rep. From the rep, I'll take any team in the NBA and have them run. And I say I believe they can compete against any team in the world. Any team in the world. Now, if now the conversation of oh, it's not the uh, it's not the it's not the FIBA uh, championship. It's not it's not that it's not that it's not country versus country versus this blah 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 blah. Now that argument is it, like okay, like we 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 get why you would say that, but his animosity toward it was like you know that's not where it was coming from. You know what I'm saying? Because if 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 you're just saying, oh, this ain't country versus country versus country, this ain't showing the best country. No, this, this is the best club. This is the best basketball team in the world right now, because they're playing in the best league against everybody else. That's the, in the best league. Everybody around the world that's in the best league. People bringing up the argument of, you know, previous MVPs um, in recent years, like the last four of them not being uh, uh, um, American citizens. Or born, American born. Let me say that American born. Not being American born for the last four of them both, which is cool. Like that's that argument is fine if we're, if we're really about to negate his animosity toward the NBA uh, championship being a world champion, bro. The best people that play basketball plays in the NBA. There's no argument there. There's I don't care what we rapping about. If if he was the if he was to come out and just say, yo, I. Like, I don't think that, like, leagues that's not competing by country should have world champion on their on their titles. Like, um, I think that should be strict for uh, uh, um, the Olympics and strict for that type of competition, just country by country, the best country of this. You know what I'm saying? If, if, that, if that's the conversation, that's what it is. But we all saw the animosity. Like, it seemed like he was trying to be more so like, yo – what? How can they be world champions? I don't understand how they can be world champions type vibes. And it's like, if you say an argument the way I said it, it's cool. But the animosity you throwing on it is 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 you bringing up the idea that they're not the world champion just because they played in the NBA. Nigga, by default, they the world champion by playing in the NBA. By default. By default. Like, what are we talking about here? It's not even on some like... Oh, because it's America. It's like no, nigga. No matter where it was at, if the NBA was based out in Saudi Arabia, and it's still the NBA if we know it today, it'll be the world championship because the best players are playing there. If LeBron was like, "I'm going to the NBA," and it just so happened to be in China, hey man, that's where the best players playing at. That's where they all playing at. Now, if they, they if they all scattered, if you telling me that Steph is playing in China, Bron is playing in, in uh, uh, Europe somewhere. Um, KD's playing in like Egypt, <laughs> like you mean you you scatter them out like that. Now I see what you're saying with. But if we saying that the best talent goes to the NBA to play the best basketball, if that's what we saying, which which hope to God we are all saying, if that's what we saying that the best talent is going to the NBA to play best uh, basketball from around the world, from around the world, if that's what we're all agreeing to. I don't think there should have been any type of animosity for the. NBA championship to be titled the world championship. Nobody's nobody questioned that before because we all just knew that it, we all just knew that it was true. We just all knew it was true. We just all knew it was true. Now, if you talking about like baseball and everything, that's a, that's that's like a. Uh, I'm not. I, I don't follow baseball enough to know if the best players are all going to the MLB, or if they playing in like you know what I'm saying Japan, who just won um, the World Series type shit. Like if they if they if they if they doing that. That's a different vibe. You mean? That's a different vibe. And this is even going, not to say, oh. And 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 I saw people using this argument. I'm sorry I'm jumping around. But I saw people using this argument of the Olympic, like the Olympic team that the U.S. is bringing out. That's, that's, that's supposed to hold up the NBA being the best basketball league in the world because the, the U.S. team is going to be full of NBA players. But that's not what makes the NBA the world championship. What makes the NBA the world championship is the best players from around the world comes and play in this perfect game in the league. 
This is the best game of basketball we have in the NBA. That's what we are saying as a whole. So if you're saying that as a whole, bro, there's no way. I don't care what the hell we talking about. There's no way there should be any beef like that toward the NBA using world champs on their on their championship. No way. No way. No way. And it's it's like, like I said, I saw you, I seen people backpedaling. Like uh, I think I saw Stephen A. backpedaling and everything, uh, where he's like, he first came out with like the most idiotic thing I ever heard. Blah blah. blah. You know what I'm saying it's, it's completely. Um, I forget the word he used. I think he said like um, ignorant and things of that nature. <sighs> Which it does come off as. I don't disagree with that statement. He apologized for it just because he was. Um, he 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 wanted to. Uh, I think he said he, he he basically apologized just because he didn't want to um, dishonor an American uh, athlete who's who's. Who's actually competing for our country at the time? So I, I get where you're coming from in that stance. Like, let's not let's not dog out this dude's name, who's definitely competing for us. Like, we all rooting for him and everything, so we shouldn't be talking down on him like that. Cool, but he is wrong. I mean, I lived the debate. I tell you right now, the brother's wrong. The brother's wrong. Like, I I just don't get the angle. I don't get why. That was like that was the thing that he needed to get off his chest at that moment. I honestly don't. I honestly don't, bro. Because in that in that in that moment it was just like Hold on, I'm sorry. I in that moment it was just like um just like why, bro? That that's what I mean. That's what that's why I got so like. Why are y'all backpedaling? That's why I got so like. Why are y'all backpedaling? Because in that moment, it wasn't called. It wasn't called for at all. It wasn't called for to say nothing. Say nothing like that. Like they basketball, they world champions or what? Like he was saying it on some like, how y'all world champions type shit? What y'all mean? What y'all do? What type of athletes is y'all? And then they, I seen people coming at Aaron Gordon. For coming for snapping back, but it's like, bro, he snapped at the NBA. He legit did for no reason, <laughs> for no reason at all, no reason. Nobody, I don't think nobody came at him. I don't think, you know what I'm saying, I don't think nobody was like at his sport. Like, yo, who 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 can't run? Ain't nobody saying nothing like that. Ain't nobody saying nothing hot. Ain't nobody saying nothing hot. He just snapped on him for no reason. Like, that's why I, 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 I mean, like the world. We acted crazy because it was like, again, it was just out of nowhere, bro. It was so, it was so left of the conversation that he was having with the reporter. Just like, dang, how much does this mean to you, man? How much that medal mean to you? You won that medal. How much that feel? How that feel? And his brother was like, man, fuck the NBA. That's <laughs> that's basically what happened. I was just sitting over here like, ooh, like, ooh, somebody gonna say something about that? That's, that's a little dicey. That's a little dicey. Well, let me, uh, nah, man, but that's just my two cents on it, bro, because I saw everybody backpedaling after they snapped on him, and it's just like, I think he deserved to snap a little bit. I think he deserved to snap a little bit. Because, again, it's, it's, it's predicated on what the NBA is that is like, why would you target, why would you target that league? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, why would you target that joint right there? That didn't make sense. It didn't make it didn't make sense. It didn't make sense, man. Like, hey, be 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 that, be that. You mean? Like, that's the. If you're talking, if you're talking, like, again, if you take it to another sport, if you take it to, if you take it to, uh, if you take it to soccer or football. And um, what you call it? You take it to soccer or football, and when I say football, I mean soccer. Like you mean, and you go to the league. I and soccer, forgive me, I don't follow it that much. But you go to a league where uh, where Philadelphia Union is playing, then, and they go, "Oh, we the world champs because you won in this job." 
But we know we know where the world champs are. We know where we know where they competing at. That would be weird. That would be weird because it's like the best talent ain't playing in this John. Like the best talent when all the countries are going, they they run and ramp it because the comp is all there. The comp is there. The comp is there. The NBA is all of them coming into one mode. That's why it just that's just why it doesn't fit, bro. That's just why it doesn't fit, bro. So like, you know what I mean, I hope that brother. Uh, I hope it wasn't just like. I also hope it wasn't just like trying to just draw. I mean, he is drawing a lot of attention. He is drawing a lot of attention. So if it was that, good job, brother. Good job, brother Lyles. Jimmy, good job, brother Lyles. I think Shikari, uh, Shikari Richardson, she won. She won that joint too. Shouts out. Shouts out to her. She won that thing too. Hold on, let me, uh. Oh, Jay Dangerous. Nah, but shout out to both of them. They, they, they cook it. They cook it with grease. Yo, before I get to these this or that, um, I'm, me and Satara have been watching The Walking Dead. Me me primarily. Satara, she, she comes in every now and again. The Walking Dead. And I know I'm late to the show. I know y'all. I can hear y'all now. E, how you just start to watch this, Joe? Where the hell you been at? The Walking Dead been the best thing since sliced bread for, for years now. How the hell you missed this? This is the greatest sandwich I've ever eaten. Watching The Walking Dead, the greatest show we ever saw. I hear y'all. I cannot watch them, Jones. I I found out, I want to say four years ago, I'm a binger. All my fellow bingers. You know what I'm saying? We all here. We know the game. We know what it is. You know I mean we know what it is? I'm a binger, man. I cannot. I cannot do the. Uh, cannot do the wait till next week thing ever in life again. You know what I'm saying? If the show's out and it's hot, you got me for three. You got me for three episodes. I catch you. I catch you next year. You know what I'm saying? I catch you next year when it drop. Cause you got me for three. Ep- I mean, I'm lying to you. Because if I'm already, if I'm fully invested to the show, that's different. If I'm fully invested, I will be there every week, 7 o'clock show, whenever the time is. I'll be there 15 minutes early. 15 minutes early, socks off with the with the cold covers. I know that vibe. Socks off with the cold covers. I'm there with my drink in hand, chocolate milk. If, if, if needed, chocolate milk if had. You know what I'm saying? Chocolate milk if we got it. And I'm there, socks off, cold covers, fan blowing. But I'm sitting back, ready for that thing to crack off. Ready for that thing to crack off, you know what I'm saying? But um, The Walking Dead is dangerous. First off, bro, if I was to wake up in a coma, from a coma. I'm not you wake up in a coma. Wake up from a coma. And um, my hospital is blown to shit. I tell y'all right now. I might stay in that hospital a few more days. Actually, I'm lying. I'm lying because the fear will run me wild. I, I got to get the hell out of there. I'll be getting out of there, but I'm not. I might be a calculator. I'm zooming. I'm zooming. If I got the energy. He didn't have the energy. Matt, bro, imagine the fear running through your body. You wake up in a hospital. You ain't eating months, basically. You running on tubes and drugs and fumes and whatnot. You ain't eating, you don't know how long. Needle in your arm still. You got to pull that thing out. Hopefully it don't break. Needle in your arm still. Pull that thing out. It's probably rusted. You probably got some type of disease in that jaw. You first got to go to the bathroom. I don't care what the hell we talking about. You come out of a coma, you probably got to go to the bathroom. Probably got to pee. Number two. All that. You know what I'm saying? You whamming, for sure. So you're going to have to take a bird bath or something like that. So you're getting up, you walk around town in your gown because your, your clothes is done. Apparently, they gone. I don't, he, he never got his clothes. They was gone from rip. 
It was going from rip, so he never got his clothes. His clothes is gone. They done. You walk around town in your gown, no draws on. He had draws on in the show, but realistically, well, I, I mean, I had my draws on when I was in the spittle. So I guess you got draws on. No socks, though. No, no, you got socks on. You got socks on. You got socks, draws on, gown. Still got the hospital wrist, Joe. You know how uncomfortable that pup is. So you walk around town for hours trying to get to the crib. It's going to take you about an hour or two at least. Trying to get to the crib. You finally get to the crib. That joint is destroyed. The whole t- the whole city is destroyed. Why are you walking? The whole city is destroyed. You seeing bodies on the ground. And you just like, what the hell is going on here? What is going on around this jaw? Zombies. It's crawling around on the ground. You just like, oh lord. You mean, oh lord. Some of them can walk fast. So not only is you drugged up and barely any clothes on, barely can walk, barely can run. You got zombies who can who can speed walk at best. Speed walk at best. But that's that's speed walking when you ain't got no energy is a dangerous game. So you walk around town half naked. Damn near naked. With speed walking zombies. You got no energy, no food, no, no, no. You, you probably got a migraine. Let's call it what it is. You probably got a migraine. It's going crazy. And you just trying to get to the crib. Right there is. I'm looking for the best way out. I'm looking for the best checkout station of life. I'm hoping the bus drive by so I can jump in front of that pub. I'm hoping one of these zombies can drive a bus. They get their brain working good enough to where they can get the mechanical skills of the bus driving. They driving a the bus to try to get me. I hop right in front of that John. I don't want them to eat me. I don't care which way I go out at this point. I just don't want to be ripped to shreds and eaten from the shoulder down. And you know that's how they're going to get you. They're going to leave this open so you can feel every piece of that. So they're going to start from here and work their way down. I don't want no parts of that. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I don't want no. I want zero, zero energy when they come to eating me alive. Zero energy. You know what I'm saying? Just take me out quick. Take me out quick. I'm scared of heights. Take me to the nearest height. Let me, let me pass out up there. Fall from fifty feet. Fall from fifty. I'll be cool. Head first. Straight to the, straight to the splat. The main. Well, like I said, if hopefully a zombie get the car moving. I'm jumping in front of that, John. Not to mention this. He's walking outside. He finds his crib. Freaks out because his whole crib is destroyed. Nobody's there. So, of course, he's freaking out. He like, still ain't seeing a human being yet. He goes back outside. Young boy hit him dead across his face with a shovel. Bro, when I, if, if he didn't have a migraine by then, he damn sure have one now. He damn sure has one now. And it was an honest mistake, too, so he couldn't even be mad at the kid. The kid in a world full of zombies. He got to tag everything that moves. Can't be mad at the kid because he, he, he overrun by zombies. He got to make sure you ain't trying to kill him. Smacks you right across your damn face with a heavy-ass shovel. And then his dad woke up. Yo. Who the hell are you? <laughs> so Terry pointed this out to me. Bull on the ground, like fresh, fresh shovel hit. He, who are you? He just like I, I could tell you, but I can't. Remember, I can't remember my name. <laughs> he, he, he cold out. He smack him in the face and shovel his dad. Who the hell are you? He just I, I can't remember. I can't remember who I am. Like it was cold cut right there. Yo, man, I swear to God, that would have made me mad. I ain't going to lie to you. Because I was cracking up. Or I was just like, yo, just tell them who you are. That's how I was. I was just like, come on, man, Rick, tell them. Tell them who the hell you are. Tell them you the sheriff in this piece. <laughs> he got he got blasted with the shovel. He just like, ah. Ah. He can't remember nothing. So they end up letting him stay in the gym. And, uh, yo, so like. Just, I'm just putting my mindset in his in his head, like, bro, you wake up, coma, world destroyed, boy hit you in the head with a shovel, now you wake up to the two boys, they got you tied up on the bed. At that, I'm calling my savior, brother. Take me out of here. This is horrible. This is horrible business. 
I don't even know what happened to the two dudes. They never, they never go back to that. They never reflect on that. For the first two seasons, he was like talking to him on the talkie, but he, he he shut that down. He ain't doing that no more. So I don't know what happened. I ain't gonna lie to you. But sorry, I digress. The Walking Dead is one of the greatest shows I've ever seen. I'm three seasons in, and I, I for people who know The Walking Dead, I'm at the point now where they're about to be checked. He about to be checked out. This one of my this my favorite character on the show. If he get going, I'm done. I'm tapping out the show. I understand they gotta make it realistic. People gotta die. People gotta do this and that. If Daryl tap out, I'm out of the show. I'm tapping. I'm checking out early. I'm checking out early. If you're a fan of the show, you probably like me. You probably probably a fan of Daryl. Daryl's fire. Daryl is cool. Cold beans. His brother. His brother is nutty. But like, I forget that. I forget the actor name that played his brother that played uh, Merle. But he play uh he play oh my god, Guardians of the Galaxy. Who is it? Um Yandu. Quill, you stay right there, boy. That's that yo, Yandu nasty. That's who played me thorough. He thorough. So like, nah, bro. Nah, bro. That show is that show is top to him. All my friends hit me up about it, like, yo, how you ain't watch that show yet? Listen, man. Listen, man. I got a lot going on when I come to show watching. I got a lot going on. I'm still catching up on uh, y'all anime people. I, I'm catching up on JJK, Jujutsu Kaisen. God damn it! God damn it! Gojo is that guy. Gojo is that guy, man. Gojo's him. Don't disrespect him. Don't disrespect him. He's him, but I'm catching up on that. I'm still uh, catching up on One Piece. They just released a movie on Netflix, to, or is, I don't know if it's a movie or a series. I think Jay said it was a series, but uh, when I first was watching the trailer, it looked like a movie on that, John. Looked like a movie on there. If it's a series, I'm curious about that. I'll be more curious about the series than I would be about a movie that's made. It, I feel like they'll cut a lot, skip a lot, and you'll just be in shambles with what's going on. So, um... If it's a series, I'm I'm definitely curious about that. I'm definitely down to watch that. That'd be super fire. A series for a, a live action series of One Piece. Because I'm still watching the I'm still watching the anime right now. I just, I just touched a thousand episodes. I just touched it. Just touched it. Like it's it's real. If you guys don't watch anime, first of all, I'm I'm an advocate for anime because I think it get a bad rap. Like, it's cool now to be, like, an anime fan. It's cool now to be an anime fan, but it still get a bad rap when it comes to, like, like, we all adults now. Like, I'm a, I'm a big adult. Being around other adults, that's just like, oh, you watch that, man? I don't know what's going on with that. I don't, maybe I should watch some time. No, maybe you should watch some time. Maybe you should watch some time. I mean, we go, we go through a lot watching that. We go through a lot watching that. That's, that's how we mature. How y'all say it? Mature. That's how we. That's how we get down. I, I. I. In my. In my lifetime as a human being, I've lost. Real life. I'm talking death now. I'm talking death. In my lifetime, I've lost. Let me. Let me think. Hold on. Let me. Let me. Let me start over. Let me start over. One, two, three, four. Fun. That's it. I'll, if I forget somebody I lost, I'm gonna be pissed. I'll be pissed if I met up with them in heaven. I, I'm counting five. I'm counting five, not including pets and things. God damn it! Let me let me let me run about me one more time just to make sure. Mm-hmm. Three, four, five. Five very close people. Six. What the hell is what? See what I'm saying? God damn. I thought it was six deaths. Very close to me. In my in my in my lifetime thus far. Six. Six. You know what I'm saying? Like um uh, anime 
has forced me to go through. Cause you go through it. I don't care what the hell y'all talking about. Your emotions, it's it's weird because it's like that's what I'm talking about. Not not necessarily that thing, but uh, um, anime can touch a lot of people in a, in a crazy way when it comes to emotion. Because unlike live action, when they die, they're gone. Like unless you're talking about shows like a Dragon Ball Z, where it's like um, where it's like you can wish get wished back and shit like that. In an anime show, that character is legit the character. So let me explain what I mean. Like um, John Wick. John Wick can die in, in the next John Wick movie. Keanu Reeves would still be outside. You know what I'm saying? This is this is this is the reason, and I will argue this. I will argue this is the reason Chadwick hit so hard on a lot of fans. This is that this is that reason why it hit so hard when the Black Panther died, because Chadwick Boseman died. You know what I'm saying? Historically speaking, you're recast or written off another show or written off. Where it's like, oh, you just don't see him when they feed out. Historically speaking, they he he passed in the movie. It's that I would argue that that's why it hit so hard because historically speaking, in live action stuff, it's you know you still see the you still see the actor, you still see them somewhere. This is why anime pulls on the heartstrings a little bit more. Because damn it, Jiraiya died. I haven't seen him since. See him in flashbacks. See him in passing. But I haven't seen him since. You know what I'm saying? Minato and uh, um, Naruto Dukes. Forgive me for forgetting her name. Sorry. Kushina. They come back in the show. But that's not back for us. That's like our first time seeing them. You get what I mean? It's not the same. I haven't seen Jiraiya since. Emotionally, I had to deal with that. I don't care how y'all look at it. When you get emotionally attached to a character in the show, if they die and you never see them, you have to deal with that. You have to deal with that. You can call it a fandom. You can call it I'm fanboy. You can call it whatever you want. Emotionally, I'm speaking on a deeper level. Emotionally, you have to deal with that. Like it's 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 legit. That's where a lot of dudes, because girls get it, girls get it quick, like the emotional development. That's where a lot of dudes get the emotional development at. Sometimes, sometimes it trickles into the anime world. I would argue that is where it comes from, for those reasons. And I don't think my argument is, I don't think my argument is far off. I think if I was to talk to somebody about it, they probably understand where I'm coming from and actually feel the same way. And I don't think I'm crazy for that. I don't think I'm crazy for having that thought process and that understanding of that. Because that's real talk. Another one I can give you. Forget Naruto. When Vegeta originally died in Dragon Ball Z, he was done. That was real pain. Because he lost his body. We, we really wasn't supposed to see Vegeta again until he comes back. But when it happened... We was done. And that's Dragon Ball Z where you could wish people back. We was done when it happened. Big done. Big done. I tell you, I and look, man, they I mean, anime still tear me up to this day. I tell you what got me the other day. They had me like a um they had me like a um a a, a TikTok on if y'all watch Naruto, where guy is like, "Yo, I'm giving him, I'm giving Madara everything I got, but it ain't working. I gotta open up the eighth in the gate. That's his power card. He dying after that. So they showed that, and then they showed uh, Minato saying, "Yo, guy, stop! Don't do it. Your dad won't want you to do this." They throw a flashback to guy's dad, who's like. Hey, make sure it's the only thing you got. If this is what you got to fight for your life, use it well type shit, right? You got that energy. His dad died using that, John. Protecting 
protecting guy and his in his in his comrades. His dad was whack, boy, but he used it to protect him, and he died in the process. They cut two guy in mood and and eating the geese in the fire red mood. My news was burning up as soon as I saw it. Burning up as soon as I saw it. That enemy touch your heart. It touch your heart, man. I mean, it's a lot of things that touch your heart like that, but like the enemy touch your heart. Touch your heart. It's a story thing, man. It's a story thing. Like people think, like, oh, it's just because it's cartoons. It's not. It's not emotionally there on a mature level. It touch your heart, man. You be done. You can be cooked up in the anime. You can be cooked up, deep fried in the anime, emotionally. You can be you can be oven roasted. You know what I'm saying double toasted on both sides. You know what I'm saying seared on the back. You can be really done up, man. You can be done up watching some anime. Like emotionally, it really it really grabs you. Like, oh, hey man. Hey, man, I ain't gonna talk about it no more, cuz. Y'all just gotta get into it. Y'all just, it's, it's some of them Johns that's like, that's not gonna be there. It's not gonna pull your heartstrings like that. But you can't deny, you can't deny the vibes. You can't deny the vibes, bro. Like, even My Hero Academia, which is like a lighter a lighter anime, I would say, on a, on a little bit on the brighter side, that pulls on the heartstrings. That pulls on the heartstrings. Like, Oh, oh, come on, man! I ain't about to go through this with y'all. I ain't about to go through this with y'all. I'm, I would love to talk anime with somebody on this job, but me, I'm gonna just fanboy y'all. I'm talking about myself about the anime, man. I, the next, the next guest I have on here, we talking, we talking big anime. We talking big anime. Y'all better be all in. Y'all better be all in about that, John. Oh, what time? We we already ran like forty five. Let's uh, let's go do some this or that before I get off this job. I asked the bros, I asked the bros to send me some this or that. They got a little hectic, but I'm gonna go through them though. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't bitching nothing like that. I don't want them to think I'm bitching. Mike, I'm putting y'all on the spot too since y'all sending me these weird ass jobs. Mike, Mike asked me uh, tits or ass. I've been plagued with this, with this. Uh, I've been plagued with this decision all my life. I got to go. I'm a, I'm a 30 man, man. I'm a 30 man. If y'all don't know, uh, well, y'all don't know because that's Brad's language. Perk 30s. The perky, the perky it's perk 30s, 30s. That's how we got to this language right here. If you followed, you follow, you know, you know. Um, I'm a 30 man, but. Them cakes is everything. Them cakes is everything. Excuse my language. Them cakes is everything. I don't get me wrong. I admire a smooth pair of thirties. Smooth pair I admire. But them cakes don't never do you wrong. They never do you wrong. So I'm definitely gonna cakes over that one, Mike. Um, basketball, football. Give me basketball every time. The finesse of the game. The finesse of the game is just so beautiful. It's such a beautiful sport. That's my brother. That's my brother, uh, Trevon or Vaughn, if you call him. Um, basketball or football, he said. I take basketball every time. Just because um, the individuality of the game is just like, that's what draws me into basketball a little bit more. Like, football is, is a, a beautiful game. It's a beautiful game. But it's too many it's too many parts that you need to, to cover their asses. Like, I'm more of a, um, I'm a dude that's more, Drawn to everybody holding themselves accountable for certain things. I feel like it's too many parts of football for you to do that at times. Like even if Deion Sanders is on the left side, he can lock up that full left side. If you if you if you break off on that right, you cool. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's just too much to where I feel like a basketball player has way more of a a, a, a touch of control on the game than a, than any football player than any football player does. You know, man, because it's just too many. It's too many moving pieces. But that's all. That's the only reason why. So like, playing wise, watching wise, everything of that nature. I gotta go. I gotta go basketball or football, easily. Um, this ass every time. Yeah, cool. 
cool, let him, cool, let him know. He said, "Oh, look, look, look my man Jay. Oh, y'all, you niggas talk about cheeks all day. Uh, get a lap dance from from Wolf Senpai or Megan Thee Stallion. Wolf Senpai, easy. Wolf Senpai, easy. If y'all know who that is, look her up. Freaking ridiculous." Freaking ridiculous. Give me the lap dance from Well. Well, Well can give me the lap dance every time. Meg, I do everything else too. But give me that lap dance from Well every damn time. That ain't even a question, Jay. Get the hell out of here. Ain't no damn question. All right, cool, cool. Here we go, cool. Cool, cool, cool. 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 Just playing, just paying respects to the nine eleven victims. I'm gonna say World War Two. Uh, World War Two because there's it's ext- way more control that you have than you do in nine eleven. Unfortunately, nine eleven was like kamikaze type vibes, and everybody that passed that job, unfortunately, you know what I mean they had no they had no wishes or. Or parts to be, or, or, or you know, they didn't want to be a part of that, bro. So I'm gonna go World War Two, and I hope I'm the dude that stay alive. You know what I'm saying? Uh, would you rather get jumped by Marvel or DC? That that ooh, I let the, I let DC jump me so I could be cooked real easy. Either Flash running that mock, whatever, straight through my chest, head first. Let me be. Let me feel that. I'll be done. Or oh, Superman just yelling in my ear, dumb loud, just throw my throw my whole head off with, with a scream. I'm cool with either one of them Jones. You know what I'm saying either one of them Jones is cooked. Uh, let me see. <laughs> it's a, all crazy, all crazy Superman, crazy. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. These things are crazy. All right. Um. Catch a hook by Mike Tyson or F5 by Brock Lesnar. Give me the F5. What the hell is we talking about here? Give me the F5. A hook by Mike Tyson. I'm guessing he's going to he giving me a full jaw. A wide hook. If Mike Tyson punch you square in the face with a wide hook, you're done. You're done. F5, you getting up from that. You know what I'm saying? It hurt for sure. It hurt for sure. But you getting up from that. Oh, now if it's real though, a real F five, you face planted on the on the ground. Ain't no covering up. Ain't no ah. Uh, no, you coming face first, like this, John. Right to the concrete. Wham. Right to the concrete. Damn. Uh, is it a body shot from Mike Tyson? If it's a body shot from Mike Tyson, I I can go to ah you can break a rib. God damn! I don't want to go face first to the concrete. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> People talk about Mike Tyson punching. That floor is hard. That floor is hard. Is it in the is it in the ring? Hold on, cool. You got you gotta you you gotta you gotta you gotta make this make sense, cool. In the ring. Cause damn it, if it's if it's outside F five, I want no parts of that. That that floor punch harder than anybody in this world. God damn, he said no, not in the ring. God damn, so F five on concrete type shit in the street. <laughs> F five on concrete type shit. Give me the. Uh, I take the hook from Mike, especially if it's right now. Mike, rather than prom, Mike. Even right now, Mike is so damn dangerous. Stay. I feel like standing across from Mike Tyson right now. I wouldn't want to. Yo, you. I'm cutting myself off. This is gonna be the last thing I talk about on this podcast. I was just thinking the other day, a dude that I do not want to meet. I'm who I'm a huge fan of. I do not want to meet Joe Petchy. At any age, I don't want to meet Joe Petchy. I'm a huge fan of Joe Petchy. But I feel like anything I do would, like, rub him the wrong way. <laughs> I ain't going to lie to you. I'm 6'2". I, I, I probably can cook him. But I, I don't want to disappoint 
Joe Pesci for some reason. I really don't. I don't want to. Even if I was to walk up to him and be like, hey, how you doing today? I'm I'm fearful that he'll be like, oh, this fucking guy. I'm so fearful of that. Not even though I'm like doing something to me. I ain't worried about that. I'm worried about the disappointment I can put to Joe Pesci. I have no idea why, but I don't want to disappoint nobody more than him. Like, I, I don't want to disappoint him at all. I'm like, I don't know what, I don't know why, bro. I don't know why. I want him to know that I'm a good dude. I want him to know that I'm a solid guy. So you go, oh, I love this. If I got it, if I got it, oh, I love this kid. From Joe Petchy? Oh. I don't know why. I don't know why I got this, like, this feeling of, like, I need this dude to rock with me. Heavy. Heavy. Ain't nobody else got that coming out of me, bro. Nobody got that energy from me. I need that from Drew Petchy. Oh, this kid's amazing. I love this kid. This kid's a solid dude right here. If I got that from Joe Petchy, my world would be, be set. I can't. I don't know what's up with my hand, bro. I haven't been able to, like, make a fist all day. I think I slept on the room. But, um. Anyway, man, I'm gonna tap. I'm gonna. I'm gonna tap out of here. I didn't even get to one of the questions I wanted to do, but um, I'm gonna leave that one for next time. Um, just felt like we had a solid podcast. But anyway, thanks again for listening to another episode of the EDC podcast. Yeah, we are on every podcast platform. Um, again, search up the EDC podcast. You know what I'm saying? Um, my name is Ian Dunlop. As I'm also known as E Don't Care. Um, again, appreciate y'all for listening, man. I'm Audi.